Phosphatidylserine, Wikipedia article audio. Phosphatidylserine is a phospholipid and is a component of the cell membrane. It plays a key role in cell cycle signaling, specifically in relationship to apoptosis. Structure Phosphatidylserine is a phospholipid. It consists of two fatty acids attached in ester linkage to the first and second carbon of glycerol and serine attached through a phosphodiester linkage to the third carbon of the glycerol. Phosphatidylserine coming from plants and phosphatidylserine coming from animals differ in fatty acid composition. Biological function Phosphatidylserine are actively held facing the cytosolic side of the cell membrane by the enzyme FLIPPASE. However, when a cell undergoes apoptosis, phosphatidylserine is no longer restricted to the cytosolic side by FLIPPASE. Instead scramblase catalyzes the rapid exchange of phosphatidylserine between the two sides. When the phosphatidylserines flip to the extracellular surface of the cell, they act as a signal for macrophages to engulf the cells. Cell signaling Phosphatidylserine plays a role in blood coagulation. When circulating platelets encounter the site of an injury, collagen and thrombin-mediated activation causes externalization of phosphatidylserine from the inner membrane layer, where it serves as a procoagulant surface. This surface acts to orient coagulation proteases, specifically tissue factor and factor 7, facilitating further proteolysis, activation of factor X and ultimately generating thrombin. Coagulation In the coagulation disorder Scott syndrome, the mechanism in platelets for transportation of PS from the inner platelet membrane surface to the outer membrane surface is defective. It is characterized as a mild bleeding disorder stemming from the patient's deficiency in thrombin synthesis. Biosynthesis Phosphatidylserine is biosynthesized in bacteria by condensing the amino acid serine with CDP-activated phosphatidic acid. In mammals, phosphatidylserine is produced by base exchange reactions with phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylethanolamine. Conversely, phosphatidylserine can also give rise to phosphatidylethanolamine and phosphatidylcholine although in animals the pathway to generate phosphatidylcholine from phosphatidylserine only operates in the liver. Dietary Sources The average daily phosphatidylserine intake from diet in Western countries is estimated to be 130 mg. PS may be found in meat and fish. Only small amounts of PS can be found in dairy products or in vegetables, with the exception of white beans and soy lecithin. Table 1 PS content in different foods Soy products are not in this table, because commercial PS is made by enzymatically converting soy phosphatidylcholine to phosphatidylserine, rather than purifying phosphatidylserine from soy. Supplementation Health Claims Cognition Safety A panel of the European Food Safety Authority concluded that a cause and effect relationship cannot be established between the consumption of phosphatidylserine and memory and cognitive functioning in the elderly mental health slash cognitive function and stress reduction and enhanced memory function. The reason is that bovine brain cortex and soy-based phosphatidylserine are different substances and might, therefore, have different biological activities. Therefore, the results of studies using PS coming from different sources cannot be generalized. In May, 
2003 the Food and Drug Administration gave qualified health claim status to phosphatidylserine thus allowing labels to state consumption of phosphatidylserine may reduce the risk of dementia and cognitive dysfunction in the elderly along with the disclaimer very limited and preliminary scientific research suggests that phosphatidylserine may reduce the risk of cognitive dysfunction in the elderly. FDA concludes that there is little scientific evidence supporting this claim. The FDA declared that based on its evaluation of the totality of the publicly available scientific evidence, the agency concludes that there is not significant scientific agreement among qualified experts that a relationship exists between phosphatidylserine and reduced risk of dementia or cognitive dysfunction. The FDA also noted of the 10 intervention studies that formed the basis of FDA's evaluation, all were seriously flawed or limited in their reliability in one or more ways, concluding that most of the evidence does not support a relationship between phosphatidylserine and reduced risk of dementia or cognitive dysfunction and that the evidence that does support such a relationship is very limited and preliminary. Early studies of phosphatidylserine on memory and cognition used a supplement which isolated the molecule from the bovine brain. Currently, most commercially available products are made from cabbage or soybeans because of concerns about mad cow disease in bovine brain tissue. These plant-based products have a similar, but not identical chemical structure to the bovine-derived supplements, for example, the FDA notes the phosphatidylserine molecule from soy lecithin contains mainly polyunsaturated acids, while the phosphatidylserine molecule from bovine brain cortex contains mainly saturated and monounsaturated fatty acids and long-chain polyunsaturated fatty acids. A preliminary study in rats in 1999 indicated that the soy-derived phosphatidylserine supplement was as effective as the bovine-derived supplement in one of three behavioral tests. However, clinical trials in humans prior to 2010 found that a daily supplement of SPS does not affect memory or other cognitive functions in older individuals with memory complaints. Then in 2010, a Japanese randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial examining a sample of 78 subjects with mild cognitive impairment after a longer six-month period found improvement in the group with the lowest memory test scores when soy-based PS was administered orally, concluding that supplementation could be useful for preventing dementia in people with memory complaints. Traditionally, PS supplements were derived from bovine cortex. However, due to the risk of potential transfer of infectious diseases, soy-derived PS supplements have been used as an alternative. Soy-derived PS is designated generally recognized as safe by the FDA. A 2002 safety report determined supplementation in elder people at a dosage of 200 mg three times daily to be safe.